I feel like this is going to be pretty interesting to talk about. Let's let's get into this, shall we? So, as we know, Dragon's Life, well, it's a game. It's a game I particularly play and enjoy playing and like seeing the development of. Many of you have found me through Dragon's Life, whether it be through the channel or actually just meeting me. There's quite a lot to be said about the fan base. This is also the time I'd like to recognize that every fan base, no matter what game you end up playing, are going to have people like this, and it's okay. And it's more like an awareness video versus anything else. On the other hand, this is Valentine's Day Russ. Probably should have named it Love Struck Russ or something, but I decided I was gonna use the feathers for something. So uh, yeah, I think it came out pretty good. We we don't talk about my, uh, my avatar. It, it was also for Valentine's Day. I think that Russ has a lovely design. Not everyone's gonna agree with me, but it's definitely well known. So well known that they're was a lot of interesting conversations I've had with people who had the same OC. And that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. So today's topic is actually about OC copying and the kind of like right ways and the wrong ways to go about it because it gets quite interesting. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, before I forget, happy Valentine's Day. Today, at least for me, it's uh, February 14th. When this video comes out, it will not be February 14th. But again, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, I love you all. Now, I wanna make something very clear. And that is, uh, yes, there are quite a few times I've run into people who have very similar OCs to mine. Most of these screenshots, except for that bottom right one, were from people who are in my Discord server and found them. And so I just want to say, like, hey, listen, I have nothing against people's OCs looking like mine because ideas, I mean, I'm not the first one to have that idea. But also, it's okay. I just think they're like Russ's cousins. I mean, to me, they're just cousins. They're just family. As long as if they're gonna be like that or if they're gonna have their OCs, they don't try to be Russ. And that's exactly the problem I want to address is you can be influenced and absolutely inspired by OC designs. That's an incredible thing to do. I want no hate to these kind of people. If you have an OC and you like it, good on you. I'm glad I inspired you. That's what I try to do here. I want you to be happy. I want you to have an OC that you can connect with. Let me give you the example of a lifetime. What you're looking at over here is a friend of mine. I gave them a fake version of my skin and I said, hey, just pretend to be right. In general, this is what we don't want. We don't want people to look like this, I mean, or even more detailed, where the similarities are quite similar. I mean, we are, and here we actually, you know, here we have somebody who looks like Russ, has the name of Russ, and seeing that, that can be quite confusing, because some people see the design and they're like, wait a minute, do I know you? And like, as you can see, if they went around and they're like, oh, hey, I'm a YouTuber, and obviously they wouldn't get far because <laughs> if they say, hey, I'm this and they link my channel, that's just gonna go to me. Here's the problem is let's say uh, our Russ imposter over here is like, I want you to go do some bad things. And when I say bad things, I mean like bully somebody or overwhelm someone. And that just makes it look kind of crappy from my point because now people who think that they're seeing me are actually seeing somebody who is pretending to be me. And that's just not cool. Faking things, not cool. Don't pretend to be somebody's OC like that. Don't do it. If your name was like Glacier or something or Midnight or Galaxy and you had that skin, hey, go for it. I'm glad you feel comfortable enough and you enjoy the skin enough and you think it looks cool. I'm proud of you. Just don't go around trying to be somebody. And that doesn't apply to just my OC, but to others as well. And not even in Dragon's Life, but in general. Stealing OCs isn't very cool. It's not a good thing to do. It's kind of like scamming. Don't scam people. I see that a lot in that new game, uh, what is it called? It's not new. The Adopt Me game, and people just scam each other. It's just kids scamming kids. It doesn't teach a good thing. Don't do it. Be creative, be original, and be patient. I want you to express yourself and make something good. But also, I'm going to show you how to apply making an OC from a design you like, which is what we're going to do now. Now, let's say you want to make a design based off of Russ. So I've taken our little imposter Russ here, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make it your own. And it's so simple. Are you ready? Because blue, listen, blue is a great color. Think about it. You could make like an all dark dragon with a really, really cool underneath of light blue and make it your own. You know what I haven't seen that I would love to see? A purple variant or a pink, a dark pink variant. That would be really cool to see. 
I want to see something interesting and creative and new when it comes to making or creating and copying. If you're gonna get inspired by somebody's OC, have fun with it. There are so many possibilities and don't feel like you have to be limited to that. If you just like the design and that's that and you like the colors, go for it. But don't pretend. You got- Really? I'm in the middle of doing something? That plan kind of failed. Of course it did. Never be ashamed of feeling inspired by somebody else's OC. It's mainly about how you go about it. I think that people that look like me are really cool. And a lot of the people that I have met or that have met me, I'm actually- I really like them and we became friends. It's true. There's somebody named Stitch who likes to watch my streams, but also didn't have a YouTube account, but made a skin and OC very similar to Russ, but it was more of like a mini Russ. And when they met me, they were just super duper excited and a super big fan. And a lot of times, that's what I think people who have OCs get wrong, is that if you are somebody who makes content or you're a content creator, it's not necessarily always a negative thing. My whole thing is stand up for the people who are inspired, but don't stand up for the people who want to make a negative impact using your OC as a barrier. Russ is obviously one of a kind, but there are multiple people who look at Russ and they're like, Oh my gosh, is that King from the Owl House? And I'm like, no! <laughs> because characters like this have existed for a long time. Hi, Lyranox. We can be inspired by things, and I can tell you exactly what I got inspired by as a kid. I was really young when I made my OCs, starting with Alsfar. Which, there's a whole lore by the way, if this is for Maximum Love's song, They Don't Love You Like I Do. And I loved the character design, and as I grew older, I was like, man, I really like this. I like the school idea. And let me show you what happened after that. I got so inspired, in fact, I made this character named Alsvar, who was a big black wolf. Listen, if you go watch the video on Russ's lore, you'll find it there. But then that grew, and that idea flourished. I had this whole lore of characters that were going to become like Alsfar with the schools and it just continued as I grew older and I have so much art I may one day eventually embarrass myself more than I already have. Ross didn't even start off like this and that's what I mean about it being important to listen if I inspire you to create your own OC and your own character and you go ahead with that I want you to. You know, it's a difference. There's a difference between copying and in being inspired, but also, again, remembering that at the end of the day, it's not cool to steal other people's ideas or what they are, who they are, but it is okay to be inspired. I want to encourage others to be the greatest that they can achieve and remember that there's always more possibilities for you. There are always opportunities out there to create some incredible things. Don't give up hope. That's going to be all for me today. I love you all. Take care and I'll see you next time. Ciao.